Hello, I'm Sally, one of the leadership team at Queensbury Baptist Church and it's my privilege to welcome you tonight to our online carol service 2020. Who'd have thought that a year ago we would be having online carol services but here we are. And we're so glad that you're joining us this evening, whether you're on your sofa, in your kitchen, maybe wrapping presents, writing Christmas cards, eating mince pies, on your way to work, coming home from work. We're just very glad that you're with us. So wherever you are, let's take this opportunity to remind ourselves of the wonder of the Christmas story as we sing traditional carols and hear readings from the Bible of that first Christmas. The theme for our carol service is a place to call home. So with that in mind, the worship team will be singing carols from Queensbury, a place that I guess many of us watching this would call our church home. Some of the members of the congregation will be inviting us into their, their homes as they do the readings. And some of those are just their sitting room. One of the homes is a term time home and one is a shed, but I'll, I'll leave you to decide for yourself which is which. But first, I'm going to pray for us and then we'll go straight into singing our first carol, which is Once in Royal David City. Let's pray together. Lord, I pray that as we sing carols, as we hear readings, as we think about that first Christmas, I pray that you'd help us to see with fresh eyes, to hear with open ears and to receive with open hearts the, the wonder of Jesus leaving heaven to come to earth for us. So we welcome you into our time together tonight, Lord, and pray that, that you would bless us. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Our first reading this evening is brought to us by Mark, Naomi and Bethany Risk from the place that they call home. The reading is from Luke 1, verses 26 to 35 and verse 38, New International Version. The birth of Jesus foretold. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this may be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will have no end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who was said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. going to go now to the home of Sheila who will bring us our second reading this evening. In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, 
who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. is going to bring us the third reading this evening. Taken from Luke 2, verse 8 to 20. Now there were in the same country shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there, there is born to you this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angel had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see things that have come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marvelled at the things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept these things these things, and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the, ti- all the things 
that they had heard and seen as it was told to them. Thanks be to the God for his word. going to bring us our fourth reading this evening from a place that feels like home to him. Our next reading is taken from Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. The Magi visit the Messiah. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi or wise men came to Jerusalem and asked where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he called together the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Herod called the Magi secretly together and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. And he sent them on their way to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child, and as soon as you find him, report back to me so I too can come and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route.
final reading this evening will be brought to us from the home of the Quenu family by Josh. Mm -hmm. John chapter 1 verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was, was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made but has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was not made through him, the world did not recognise him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born of, not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. about home what comes to mind maybe it's a place or people or things that make us feel known and loved accepted and safe a place that that we can be ourselves and home is all those things but all those things are dependent on external circumstances as we know only too well with the changing government guidance yesterday. 
And maybe maybe you've been really looking forward to inviting people into your home for those five days over Christmas or travelling to be with other people in their home. And maybe those plans have had to change now and you're feeling quite disappointed and flat. But that's external home, an external place to call home. I want to tell you tonight that it's possible to have an internal place to call home. Jesus is looking for a place that he can call home in your heart, in my heart. And he wants us to know that, that heaven is a place that we can call our home. Maybe you've already invited Jesus to make your heart his home. And if you have, that's great. Maybe it's something that you did in the past, but life has happened since. And you're not quite sure what you, what you believe about God anymore. Maybe he doesn't feel very close to you. Maybe you're not even sure that he is there at all. Or maybe... You've never invited Jesus into your heart because you didn't know that he wanted to, a relationship with you, that he wanted to know you, that he loved you. And maybe that's something that you would like to do. This Christmas, how will your heart respond to that invitation? The same invitation that God issued to the wise men and the shepherds. He issues to you. Would you like to meet with Jesus? Not Jesus the baby in the manger, but Jesus who came to be our Lord and Saviour, to live and die on earth so that it's possible for us to have a relationship with God by his Holy Spirit. This Christmas, Wherever you are, I pray that your heart will become a place that Jesus can call his home. And that as you invite him in to your heart, that then he gives you the invitation to call heaven your home. Wherever you're going to be this Christmas, whatever you're going to be doing, I'd love to just pray now for you and pray God's blessing. Lord God, this Christmas time, would you bring comfort to all living with loss, peace to all who are anxious, health to all who are sick, joy to those who feel sad and hope to all of us for the coming year. Lord, just as you visited the stable in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago, I pray that the presence of the living, loving God of heaven will fill our hearts and our homes this Christmas time and that you will help us to know the peace that you alone can bring. That we will find our home in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. I wish you a really happy Christmas and an even better 2021. Thank you for joining us. We're going to close our service tonight by singing together, Hark the Herald Angels Sing Glory to the Newborn King. <laughs>